OK, time to go across once again to Dictionary Corner. Greg, what have you got for us? When I was an educator, uh, as I was for many years, um, I was fortunate enough uh, that there was a guest speaker at the school that I taught at, and it was the ex-champion uh, boxer Chris Eubank. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he very kindly came in for nothing to inspire the children, um, and he did a three-and-a-half-hour lecture to them. <laughs> uh, that it was unusual, uh, and it consisted of him telling some loose anecdotes, um, but he interspersed them with very aggressive poems <laughs> that he'd made up himself, which he... <laughs> which he shouted into the children's faces. <laughs> um, and, it, you know, it was, it was really inspiring. Anyway... I realised afterwards, I didn't think I could do impressions, I've never been able to do impressions, that I can do an incredible impression of Chris Eubank. And because he inspired me that day, I've realised that classic works of literature sound better through Eubank's voice. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a wonderful treat for us all. I thought I'd present some to you. And before I do, I would tell you that my agent and every member of production I've spoken to on this show has made it very clear they think this is a terrible idea. <laughs> To jump it on people. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I have to. I take a while. I, have to, I take a while to get Chris's voice. So bear with me. I have to. Now, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, <laughs> it was the best of times. <laughs> please, a little bit of culture, please. <laughs> it was the best of times. <laughs> It was the worst of times. <laughs> it was the age of wisdom. <laughs> it was the age of foolishness. Thank you very much. I mean, the sad thing is, it's actually a very good Nelson Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds just... <laughs> I wanted to compare the meerkats. <laughs> if Chris Newback was here, he wouldn't be offended. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Well, say, uh, you know what, Greg? Say pugilist a few times. That's his, that, that gets me in. Right. That's his key word. I wasn't a fighter, I was a pugilist. <laughs> are you talking to me? You, who, then, who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> you sound like a villain in Danger Mouse. That's what you said. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> what the fucking hell's <laughs> wrong? <laughs> it's one of the worst impressions ever. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fire six shots or five? <laughs> well, <laughs> to the truth, it. <laughs> This excitement, I kind of lost track myself. <laughs> You've got to ask yourself one question. <laughs> Do you feel lucky? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> My name is Maximus. <laughs> I think I've made my point, Jimmy. Yeah. I? <laughs> I've made my point. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I found it very moving, actually. <laughs> Crying quite a bit. <laughs> Gen genuinely, one of the worst impressions, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's okay to say as well, when we go to Dictionary Corner, it's okay to say, I don't have a talent, so just move on. <laughs> If they were my fault, I'd have to whipped for being all before that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've gone again. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's so unprofessional. What you're doing is unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's professional. <laughs> you call that professional? <laughs> I mean, literally two hours ago, I was speaking to my agent and he went, I don't know, Greg, is it that good, your impression? <laughs> <laughs>